Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to the Solus Project in virtual reality and this one even lets me use move controllers so I'll be able to grab stuff because I was chatting to you all on Twitter and I had a poll about what sort of games you'd like me to be playing and your overwhelming answer was more story based stuff, we want to get involved in something and really dive, dive deep into a proper plot that someone's put out. So, I thought I'd come and play a bit of this, because this is apparently being dumped on a planet and it's a bit rimworldy. Uh, something like a sort of a more rigid story-based version of Subnautica sort of thing. So, uh, but it's dumped me into all of these options first. Female voice? Go on then. I'm not sexist. Fahrenheit? No, I'm a Celsius boy. I'm, I'm in the United Kingdom. Walk speed? I'll bring that up, because I don't know why we'd want... In fact, we'll just have it at 100? Oh, I don't know why we'd want to walk slowly. Comfort rotation, smooth rotation. Smooth rotation, speed 50%. Can we have that? I might just turn that all the way up. Walking. Yeah, walking. No teleporting for me. Oh my god, that is a moon. Wow. I mean, it looks a bit weird. It looks small, but it does look at the same... It looks small for a moon, I should say. But it does look very, very big. Damn, that's really cool. If you just keep hanging around in space, does more stuff come by? That's very pretty, with all the actual... You can see where the water's been running down all the cliff edges and they've bothered to take photographs. I wonder where that's from. That's probably like the Sahara Desert or somewhere in America. Unless someone's actually just drawn that, which is totally what somebody might have done. <laughs> Switch to 2D? No, uh, unless there's anything else that I've missed. Oh, use PlayStation Move Controller Rotation. Yes? I don't even know what that one does. We're just gonna have to we're just gonna have to go for it and see what happens. <laughs> oh, there's an autosave. Probably because I came in a minute ago and tried to play this and it kicked off and went, Did you know you could play this in VR? And I went, I know, I'm trying to play it in VR. And then it made me get confused and tried to take away my move controllers and I had to put them on the floor and then I had to plug in a PlayStation controller, find the one that didn't think it was a Switch Joy-Con plug that in, charge it for a few moments, play it, and then it went, oh, by the way, if you're playing in VR, did you know you could use your move controllers? And I went, I bloody knew it. I knew I could. <laughs> Swap all the way back and then start recording. <laughs> so it's been a bit of a kerfuffle. <laughs> oh, space, the final frontier. Oh, these are the voyages of the year 2115. Scientists identified a rogue Class B star travelling towards us. Earth and the solar system would be destroyed. The Probus ships were launched in 2149. Three giant colony ships which carried thousands to a safe zone near Pluto, which is a long way away. In 2151, the Earth was destroyed. With nowhere to go, our last resources were scrambled and five scout ships were sent to five distant worlds. These pioneers began our first interstellar journey to... Ah, oh, damn it. Let me click X to decide when it moves on. <laughs> Fifteen years later, mission TSP-3 arrives at Glacey 6143C. And that's a pretty ship. Oh, it is a pretty ship. That looks believable. I don't know why you'd have your boosters. They look like detachable boosters. They should have come off. But otherwise, that looks like a good rocket. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, sh <laughs> It's carrying on. <laughs> Fine. When you're moving in space, I suppose there's no sense of perspective on that. <laughs> nah. All right. <laughs> At least just let me fade to black if you're going to try some fancy wizardry in your cutscene like this. Can't deny that is beautiful, though. So, can I assume it's... Yep, I was going to say. Shall I make the assumption we're going to get knocked out of the sky? It looked like it came from Earth, though. I expected it to be like a meteor, but I say Earth. Galaxy. Oh, no. It's an actual escape pod. Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear, it's like KSP but for realsies. Do I do anything? Oh, that's not what you like to see, is it? Just spinning. Just spinning. Ah, Galicia 6143C! <laughs> what a lovely place to visit! Whoa! 
Ooh, I feel like they should shake the camera. Oh, we are falling, though. Oh, no. Okay, I'm worried now. You've got my attention. <laughs> yeah, danger! Danger! Will Robinson! Ah! Okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, loading screen! Just load it beforehand. Have me sit in a loading screen five minutes ago for a bit longer. You don't want to break the gameplay there. I was really hoping to just fade out into where we were, but bleh. But that was very interesting. As an introduction, I'm all in. Oh! Yay! We're here. Oh, everything's fading in. Give it a chance. Give the world a moment to finish loading in textures. And then declare, yay, we're here. Oh, that's jump. Okay, it's not Skyrim controls. I really expected that to be walk forwards. Oh, God, it's on the other controller. This could take some getting used to. Hello. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, no, I didn't mean to skip. No, I probably needed to hear that. Oh. C can you tell me again? This is like a Nokia. Hello? I'm in the library! I'm on an alien world! <laughs> That's gonna make sense to about 15 people watching. <laughs> okay, this way, oh. Can be cut, requires tool. I don't know, that's north. At least I've got a direction, but there's no marker on it yet. Oxygen, do I run out of air? I hope not, where's the, oh, there's the pod. But pod one, in fact. What about everybody else on board? You'd think somebody else would have gotten into pod. We should have been in, like, pod five. <laughs> to imply that other pods have come. If there are. There might not be any. I mean, I'm looking at the debris. And I'm, I'm calling it now there aren't any other pods. Oh, hello. Tell me more about this rock. <laughs> Scanning. Heavy. multi -tur Oh, pick up. Oh, I picked it up. Ah, can I break the net with this? No? No. We'll get there! Ooh, I found a menu. Okay, rock, heavy use. I would love that rock. <laughs> oh, I chipped it somehow. I'm not sure how. I think I clicked on it twice. Can I now cut that with this okay okay we're learning we're learning this is good news I've made a chisel somehow it's not great that I don't know how I did it but we'll we'll come across that bridge when we can I jump is there a jump button challenge number two okay <laughs> there is a jump button water I assume good water food 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 also good Okie day. So what's next on our... Oh, tell me. Oh, there. The survival training. Excellent. That sounds brilliant. It is all up in flames, says the ominous voice. Prolis command somehow. Better have a look around and see if anyone or anything made it. Yeah. Just in case somebody survived this. I, I've, I've already dibbed the idea that there's no other survivors. <laughs> Have a quick look around before we pop our heads in there directly, because there's loads of stuff out here. There's an engine, and it's still working, which is twice as remarkable, really. I wonder how much fuel you need to keep an engine going, but I'm not questioning the technology. Oh, wow, there is actually, like, stickers and stuff on the inside. Little bits of detail like that I really like. Maintenance C, maintenance B, all the hatches. See, that's cool. Those are great details. Oh, it's like a windmill. Okay, to the cave. I'm glad we set walking speed to like 100%, because this still feels quite slow to me. But probably because I've been in Skyrim where you can run. Oh, pole! Can I put this away? Can I select something else? Water. Oh, I actually changed... Look, there's the actual liquid physics on the bit inside. I mean, it's very instantaneous, but it's quite a cool idea. Can I just drink it? No. No, of course not. How do you drink? Oh, I drank. Okay, good. I see. Just hold the trigger. See, if you've got move controllers, I always assume that you're going to be, like, um, holding things up to your mouth and things. Is that a videotape? 
Of all the things to see crashed in a spaceship on an alien world, a videotape was not one of them. Find a place to take shelter. Oh! Ah, oh, it's a beautiful cave! With glowing bits in. Wow, that's cool. Ominous and worrying as well. It's not going to be a horror game, is it? This isn't going to have scary parts. I don't want it to have scary I wasn't prepared if it's going to start going. Oh, because I can use the sharp thing. Okay. Cool. Oh, I made a stick. I made a st I'm really blasting through this now. I'm not sure how I'm inventing things. You just double click on them and they turn into stuff. So can I burn this? <gasps> to the fire! Aha! This has to work, surely. Okay, I'll hide here. It's very warm. So, what do I do with this? <laughs> oh, I've got to go over here. Okay, food. Oh no, I wanted that. Oops. I burned my food. <laughs> I accidentally set fire to my food. Is there more food? Oh, I'm already on that. I've made a torch. Don't worry about me, game. I'm well ahead of that. Locate something burnable. Okay, well, as long as it's not going to ask me to cut down the thing I've already cut down. Does this work? Oh, look at that! Proper lighting! Oh, that's amazing. Skyrim could use this. Like, a torch that like you could hold and move around. Or maybe that does work. I'll have to try that when I get back. Back into Skyrim. No, I nearly thought I burnt that. So I don't want to burn it. How can I put this away? It's dangerous. Uh, I'll have the n that. Okay. Now I can tell it to make me another torch. Do I have to drop it? Do I have to get this and drop it on the floor to use it? And then get out my pipe? And then combine them that way? Oh! You put them on the floor. So you gather things, drop them on the floor, and then um, you go for it. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, so we don't just burn them. Locate oil! Oh, so my other one wasn't a proper torch. That one won't, so the other one would have just burnt for a little while, but this one's doused in oil. It will burn for ages, and then to here. I don't want to stand too close to it. I mean, we're having a heat wave in the UK as it is, and I feel warm enough without putting my head inside a radial engine. Well, now I have one of these. And it will work. Oh! Connection established. With whom? Solus 3, this is Prolus Command, calling from deck 50 of capital ship Opez near Pluto. Check oh, wow! Status update. It's actually louder if you put it to your ear. jumbled emergency reading from the satellite relay right before your designated landing time. Is everything okay? You're no, everything is not okay. Solus 3, I don't want to panic you, but the other colony ships are getting antsy. <laughs> They're getting antsy. Oh, we're the first one. Ah, so we're the first ship. We've come here expecting it to be empty. But no, we've been shot down. So the other ships are kind of like, oh, don't worry, that we'll hear from them soon. They'll have just arrived. We'll be getting all the happy photographs. And they're like, we haven't heard from them, sir. Well, that's tricky, because we're halfway there now, or we can't turn back is their problem. Well, it's definitely getting darker, isn't it? So we should make a move to do some exploration, maybe find somewhere to live, I guess. Unless that cave is where we're supposed to live now. Uh, I'll just ha- what? Crafting? I don't want to craft it with anything. Oh, I see, because I have to open them. I see. If it's not an open can... Oh, right. Do I need to eat? Tell me. What do I need to do to stay alive? Calories. 830 and falling. So I assume that is bad. Let's eat something and see what our maximum calorie count is. You. Om nom 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 nom. And again? Can it not go any higher? Okay, so 2,500 is my maximum, and then water looks pretty good as well. So let's grab a torch and get a move on! So I had a little jump for joy there. I meant to run. I'm automatically pressing my left move button to walk forwards, which is jump in this game. And the other move button is to uh, to walk. Wow, that is beautiful. Just 
walking down the beach with a torch in your hand. This is quite surreal, having the day-night cycle so fast. And all the bits falling down look amazing now. Obviously, it's now it's getting darker, they're easier to see, but it's just cool that you can see them. Just walk, I'm just following the beach at the moment. Oh, oh, is there a gap? I take that back, I take that back. Okay, we're not clicking that then. This definitely looks like a thing. Oh. Ah, uh, uh, things are open. What is that bad? I'm gonna go over here. Ew, they're disgusting. There's horrible alien plant life here. I heard, I heard it moving and that was enough to creep me out. Okay, we'll have some of this. Oh, we'll burn it. We don't need food. I'm not doing very well at this. I'm gonna have to, I don't know whether to burn things or keep the beacon. <laughs> Which torch is useless? Lit oil torch, lit torch. So we'll dump this one and take the beacon. Beacon items allow you to mark location. Okay, so if I put that here, I'll be able to find this place and come back later. For now, back to Torch. I don't know why I would wander around in the dark while I'm asking those questions. <laughs> come on, Wilson, tell me something useful. Oh. <laughs> Stretch of desolation. What a fun time. Oh! Hello. Scan me. Raf of Utuku. Upgrades all resistances nearby. Zero four total zero forty three. Oh, so now I'm slightly better against those things. They looked very alien to me. Okay, it's getting dark. Find a way into the cave and investigate the sound. I don't want to go in there. That looks unpleasant. This all starts to feel a bit more frightening as I go. I didn't want it to be scary. I thought we agreed this was going to be a nice game. So we're heading in there somehow. So just keep moving this way and follow it left. Around the edge of the... Oh, some of these have been stacked. Imminent dehydration. Oh, I have water. I totally have water. Beep. Drink. Better. Yay, let's have some light on the situation again. I really do just keep jumping. It's going to take ages to drill out of my consciousness that that is not the button. Oh. There's a thing. To the thing! It crashed, but, I mean, that's got to be good for somebody, hasn't it? <laughs> there might be somebody in it. Oh, God, a few of them are coming down. Oh dear, there's quite a lot of things falling out of the sky, actually. I guess we're on the second night, so... Locate materials for satellite ah! <laughs> this is all quite, quite serious, really. I guess there's a whole spaceship in orbit in bits. It's going to be falling out of the sky for years. Oh, it's one of the engines at the back. Inventory full. Inventory oh, well, full. I might actually mark this. Because these will just stay here, won't they? I don't see why they wouldn't. Beacon. Beacon? Beacon. I believed in you, Beacon. Beacon. Okay, so you stay there. And, right, mark where my food is. Because we've got lots of food at the moment. But, at some point we will want more. There's snow, all of a sudden. Water exposure lowers your temperature. Ooh. There's some very serious music playing. A full-on thunderstorms. Oh my god, that's a tornado. We don't want to be here, do we? Can we hide? Into here. This will have to do for a moment. That was a tornado. I'm taking my instinct and just running indoors to the nearest cave. That's got to be the right answer, unless it wants us to just sprint up the beach. I've seen too many films where people just run away from things in a straight line, where the best thing to do is to go left or right. Oh my god, it really is. Wow! Operate! Whoa, back inside, back inside! Jesus! I felt that. 
It cracked my very important VR headset. Right. But the operator is cold and wet. Minus 36! I'll be dead in a minute, won't I? We need something to burn. <laughs> Can I make a fire with that? Plus 26. Okay, good, good. No, I have. I've made a fire. Plus 4 degrees, I think. If I stand right on top of it, does that help? Oh no, that just burns me, for God's sake. Burning, health, minus 15. Well, I'm trying to stop myself from getting too cold. So there's a nice warm point here. We just want to be at 2 degrees. Oh, what's this? Oh! Oh, it's, it's a teleport disc, so I can use this to teleport around. I mean, I don't know why I'd want to. Oh, does it have to land on its side? Yes, okay, so we have to be a little bit careful with how we throw it. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to be in the water. That's bad, isn't it? Stupid me. I'm dying now. Stupid teleport gun, back to the fire. Okay, food and water. Food. Is there no water in here? I hear water. Water. Drink the water. Hypothermia is killing me. It shouldn't do. Well, they shouldn't be low. I'm stood by a fire. I don't know what to do about my health. I don't know how to stop dying. Another fire? I have nothing else to burn. Okay, we're leaving the cave. No! I died! No! You have died an unfortunate death by hypothermia! For God's sake! Well, we tried really hard. Next time, we'll be getting a lot further because we know to run in the cave and start a big fire. This is a proper exploration game. It's like, it is like Subnautica. We have to live and survive. And there are tornadoes and things that want to kill me. So, if you enjoyed any of that, thank you very much for coming. Hit the like button. It really helps me out on the channel. If you haven't already, then consider becoming a subscriber. Hit that bell icon as well and set the notifications so that you don't miss an episode when we go live or when I do a premiere because we're always live in the chat for you to have a chat with us and tell us how good or awful you think the videos are and we will see you all in the next glorious episode of the solus project just me failing me dying really <laughs>